ask you about y'all going nine for ten to start out the second half. What, what were you seeing out there? Uh, man, I was seeing a lot of open guys, but more so thought it was a, a, a laundry basket out there for the rim for us. So, man, it was good just getting everybody involved. Uh, I think we executed well, and I think we found the right guys to make the right shots. Everybody can make shots, but we was all in rhythm, all in sync, and I think that's what made the plays for us. Felt like one of those nights for you specifically, you you couldn't miss it, especially off the dribble. But what uh, I guess, how good were you feeling, and and how you know how great is that when you can you know have a possession where you're almost automatic every time down the floor. Man, my rhythm been off for the ex from the exhibition to the first game. Just my shots going in and out. So. You know, when you got a head coach like Coach Prom and you got a supporting staff around you, just knowing the work you put in and just knowing your teammates going to trust in you, you got to build on that. And, man, I think the biggest thing is him reminding me, like, we go as far as you go. So if I can be good and dial in, missing shots, wherever it is, I just got to keep the same flow, the same rhythm, whereas offensive, defense. And, man, tonight they just supported me well. They told me keep shooting. I kind of found my rhythm and trying to move forward with it. Does Coach give you the green light about every possession? <laughs> I wouldn't say every possession, but I, I would say he gives it to me, you know, well. So, man, I'm thankful for him, you know, being able to trust in me and the guys around me being able to trust in me and, you know, just us moving forward as a team. And, you know, <clears throat> I think we're as good as I go. And as long as we stick and build with that and knowing I got their back and they got my back, man, I think we'll move forward well. You say you kind of lost your rhythm in the first couple of games, but it felt like everybody else was picking it up for you. Did you kind of feel a pressure lifted off of you a little bit? Absolutely. Knowing you got guys around you that can make plays. Knowing you got guys around you that can offensive rebound. Knowing you got guys like Nick who's going to come in, block shots, who's going to give you energy, uh, who's going to be a presence down low for us. Man, I think that's huge. And, you know, just piggybacking off of guys can make other plays. You got Nick, you got Quincy, you got Sean Walker just on the perimeter. You got Brian and Jacoby, obviously, but just those guys being able to pick me up when I'm down. And obviously, when we're down, I can pick them up. So just being able to count on them and me count on them. I'm counting on them and they're counting on me, man. It's just it's just something good to watch. You guys didn't probably didn't close this game out the way you would have wanted to. What was the message in the locker room after the game? Obviously, you celebrate a win, but there's obviously improving to do. Uh, Coach Prom just always talks about, man, next one. We went one to know today, so we don't kind of want to harp on this too much. Obviously, get to the film room tomorrow, see what we can do better as as a team, as a whole. Uh, obviously, individually, seeing you know how we can take this from this game and going for the next because we got another tough opponent coming in here, and we want to protect home court as much as we can. So, man, I just think the biggest thing is learn from, obviously, a win better than a loss because it's easy to kick somebody when you're down. But when you're up, man, you got to learn from them and keep building on it.